You guys probably know what happened last episode. Brent was possessed, Jonas was possessed, I was possessed, everything was possessed. But it's all fine and dandy now. And we're going to the outpost to get Clarissa, I think. The thought. She's a th thought. Jonas, let's go. Huh? What is Why? that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. The light is red. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experiment? Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. We have to check out the light. Jonas, don't you want to be up here to enjoy this magnificent genocide that's gonna unfold? Why is everything turning black? Dinner time! It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Oh, yes. Okay, no, not anymore. Hey. Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so... Let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. <laughs> and I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. I didn't know the door was locked, so happy me. Look at me go. <laughs> Let us continue forward. The facilities. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. There's a big hole well, in the wall Clarissa right there. got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just... Tr no, not at all. I mean, he he was always so busy with school and, like, he was, like, always dating somebody, but it, it would never last long. Okay. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? I mean, just, what would a guy like that see in her? Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. If they would have ever finished the museum, it would have been for show. It would have felt more authentic or whatever, but doesn't matter now. 
No, there's nothing. But what do you think Mike saw in Clarissa? Really? She's a Other than, I guess, the obvious. Yeah. It's not a true question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew up. Hey, that's good. Clarissa! Wait, right, Jonas. Don't just leave me here, Jonas. Wait! Ah, you... Jonas, what happened? Are you alright? Jonas. Jonas, let me in. I'm not in the mood. Maybe a third time. Okay. Make sure on the wall means something. Radio equals unlock door. Okay. Latrino. Is that a hint? Wait. This is a beer. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Just, just for now. Your little thought. Testing, testing. Um. Okay. I can't. I, I can't hear anything outside at all. But luckily, this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room. So, like, riddle me that first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Sort of. Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there, but let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. Mr. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Is it Mr. Potato123? <laughs> When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... Mr. Potato. Stay with me, Mr. Potato. And, I mean, you saw Clarissa too, right? Like, that was just me. Because there's oh, like man, nothing in here. There's no... Okay, what just happened? Because that... That sucked. Oh, here's a padlock code. Three, four, eighteen. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? I the reflection. It was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture. See if the flash will... Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? Gosh. Choosing not to get it. <laughs> 3418. Yeah. Radio locks. The technology here has always been... It's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. We're supposed to go up? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go up. the third person in here. Oh, I guess it's quote-unquote Clarissa. Alright. Mr. Potato1234, I'm gonna have to leave you now. Day to talk to you. A fellow person of the Spud Clan. But I must move on. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Woo! Yeah, I probably should have looked at the photo. Oh, that's nice. That's... That's pretty. Great. Huh. I'm not even gonna question it. Mr. Potato doesn't look very, uh, appetizing.
advertising. That's probably not the right wording. That sounds so weird. Oh, gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought- Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. Really? Right in I'll the middle force of the it room? Fast. Jonas, really? Please, can you not wait just until we're back outside? I really, really can't. Can I watch? Uh, I know watch. the uh, acoustics are <laughs> See really what happens. carrying it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought he was gonna say something, but apparently not. Open the freaking. <laughs> All right. Clarissa. Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't. Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me she could also be having like a Ren episode, a Renisode, possessed Renis or hey, whatever we want to call it. Yeah, actually, it's kind of obvious that that's what's probably happening, isn't it? Wasn't it in House on the Haunted Hill where that possessed guy walked into a vat of blood? I really don't know. Hello? Is this thing, is this... God, is this... Is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself, that's not... Ugh, that. man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. Hold on. I have important business right to attend to to tell to these rocks. Charlie Six. Every individual it is maintained is enveloped in a radium, invisible to the carnal eye, and only perceived by the soul accustomed to it. Charlie Six. Every individual it is. I don't know, I can understand, there's like three voices going on there, so, if you guys understood that, congratulations, I did not. <laughs> hey. Handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known Wait, thing teenagers would do line. or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. Stop talking so I can open First this door with my radio. and they wear our lungs like Chris. scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's gotta keep the traditions alive. What is that? Yeah. You heard that, right? High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Yes, I uh. do. God. Oh, Hangman, can you, yes. Can you believe this? No, I can't. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. I'm gonna fail. <laughs> what is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was uh Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a uh, Oh gosh. Our friends are finding this tough. <sighs> Do you think us <laughs> Who's gonna be hung if I fa fail this? You think us callous. No, no, you're I don't know what you are. I, I don't know what you want out of this. We are not cruel. It is fair. This is fair. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. oh now we're upside on? down. Uh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Ugh, come on, guys. This isn't exactly fair now. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. Yeah, I need this upside down. Ugh. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This oh, isn't World War II. Uh, ciphers, I guess? Ah, uh, oh, come on. Maybe not so easy, huh? Ah, God, 
damn it. Hey, come on. Normally the guy's not drawn so much each time. Do you think we want this? This is hard. We don't want this. Um, this isn't sport. <sighs> Look, no one would want this. Whatever this is, nobody would want it. Nobody would want what we have. And yet, yet. We are an island race. Oh, gosh. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Kanaloa? Is that told to me? Ten. Other ships. Nine. Uh, Above all eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values. Six. Hey, what's over here? Five. Hold on. Four. Three. Hey, uh, this is not book about. It wouldn't have. Fifty-three. Ah, come on. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. Why'd you write eighty-seven if there was ninety? It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Oh gosh. Just another fact among many. Man, I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out This kid. Jonas? 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 I'll save you. I got this, Jonas. You shall not die. Even though I'm probably making. Oh gosh, I'm making things worse. This hurts my head. Okay, Jonas, you now shall thank me. The United States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. What the heck? Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near... Is this... Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? We are... Hey, what? I didn't get any of that. Oh, that was all the correct answers, wasn't it? Or was that all the answers I said? What... What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Oh, yeah. Time. Oh, Just time. Nice what? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News. And thank you for listening. You could have, like, couldn't you have tried a little harder there? I, I know it's not like your fault, but God. Jonas, I'm sorry, okay? I I tried my best. I did, but it was just. Wait, we lost, right? The whole hangman got drawn. So isn't there, like, some sort of penalty? <laughs> Clarissa! Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh boy, I think I, I done diddly dead the wrong. Frick, go up. Clarissa, can you hear me? Are you alright? Oh, god damn it. Uh oh, so let's go up. Come on, come on. Hi, come on. Let's go. The Illuminati's behind us. Cross your fingers. Oh, Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I'll I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, Doctor. Um, are you alright? I mean, yeah. Why? 
Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, you just sounded off, I guess. Right? Didn't she sound off? I don't really know what she normally sounds like. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way... Any officers who know your problems for and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Oh, gosh. Uh, not now! Clarissa! Oh, Clarissa, gosh! Like, can we cut her... Cross your fingers. <sighs> oh, Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to, I mean, she got it to kind of work. So, Clarissa. Oh. Cla Clarissa, what are you doing? What are you doing, Alex? Don't worry. Okay. I will never forget that. Oh, oh my God. Why did she do that? And dedicated to the principles which make my country oh, free. Oh crap! I, I Why just wrong. We're, we're, we're not. It's not like we're. She killed herself. Oh my God! She just killed herself. They made her. I, I, I just. Uh, this is. Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't. I don't even know what to. We. We should get to the others. I. I can't even imagine telling them or. Or how to tell them, I'm... Th Telling them? I just want to... We have to round them up before anything else... Before anything like this, like... I don't, e I don't even know what happened here, Jonas. If it's... Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my... Oh, thank Christ, she's alive. Maybe she just... Maybe she just twisted her... Twisted something, or... Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broke... Oops, sorry. Okay, I don't know if that was, uh, determined to happen or I did the bad. What the heck, man? I'm getting into this. This is so much fun. That's the way I am. Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. Maybe he's had better luck than us at... Anything? Alright, uh, he's not that far away, luckily. Let me just... Let me check... Check this really quick. Oh, no, four. Point seven. Ow. Seven. Our low frequency radio wave is incident upon a body of radio waves travel forever until it is absorbed by matter or a person. Oh, thank you. I will not keep out. I shall move in. Wait. Is this where we were? This is where we were. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that let okay never mind. I'm stupid. We'll go that way. Not this way. This way. Oh my lantis. That was a lot. What are the notes? Have I even gotten any? I probably should check. <laughs> Mayday! May! Oh, crap. This isn't... Ren, this is just coming out of the speakers on the roof thing. It's not... Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? Oh, well, Let's huddle up, see how they're doing. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. 
the wrist is dead, but not. Oh man. That sucked. Hey! Hey! I... I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me, it's all I have left. How's Nona doing? We heard what I imagine was her first radio cast ever earlier. Yeah, no, she's... I don't know. I mean, she's frazzled one moment, then that makes me frazzled, then she sees that I'm frazzled, so she, like, freezes up. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was gonna be a big karma dump. I found, like, 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged It's okay. It's... you tried. That's all you can do. The stupid radio's been... what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. Just won't work right. Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. We... Ren, we need you sober right now. We need you capable. How could you be so stupid? Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one. It, it's just to level me out. It'll... It'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. Uh, fine. If that's what it takes to get you through the night, then okay. Great. I don't this need thing doesn't it. work. I'm not getting anything. I'm getting something, but it's like I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry, I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like it's been ghosts, Nona. Ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one Well, of... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. <laughs> and these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, you know we tuned into that thing. We kicked the door open to whatever this is. Oh, give me a break. This night is like a... It's like a giant, ugly, misery stew that Ren's clearly been the chef of. <laughs> That's for... What does that even mean? Guys, come on. Uh, uh, shut up, everybody. Look, here's something cool. A phone. Let's stop making Alex uncomfortable and talk about this instead. Look, Jonas... It should be obvious to oh, even man. the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows she can trust me. Guys, you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy, he's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What are we even talking about? You Guys, know... stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. 
Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go on? You, not not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly, anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't. You shouldn't go alone. We don't need like three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my like brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. Just shut up, both of you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night. Yes. Keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller. Who do you want coming oh with you? Yeah, uh, your oldest pal. Oh say. my god. Or your new psycho stepbrother. Jonas, let's go. Ah, uh, thank you. What? First you ditched me back in town to talk to this guy about God knows what, and now that stuff's gone crazy, you're still picking him over me? Him? Him. Him? Ren, you Shh. ate another brownie. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to, like, care. I expect you to think, hey, maybe Ren needs some support. Just... Just fine. Whatever. Have fun, you two. This isn't fun. That's the point. Oh, God. Will you just shut up? Okay. Before things get stupid again, good luck with the whole key thing. We'll be waiting, guys. Ah, uh, so far away. Not really, but still. That was a useless conversation. Go, let's go, go, let's go. Jonas, why haven't you said anything? It makes me nervous. You usually say the most randomest pieces of crap ever. Where am I going? I'm so lost. I'm gonna end this one here. But I'll be back in the next one. Thank you for watching.